ARV stands for multiple independently targeted reentry vehicles. So what is done is on a missile you have a bus. That bus carries multiple warheads and decoys. Because you're carrying decoys, they become difficult to intercept. So before re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, in space itself, this warheads start separating uh, in a manner that they all head towards different targets. So it's actually difficult to know what their targets are. It is difficult to handle so many warheads and decoys that, that are together with the warhead. And your ability to ensure that the, your uh, bombs reach the target, that improves significantly. Uh, we are one of the few countries, you know, uh, a handful of countries, in fact, U.S. has this kind of technology, U.K. maybe, France, yes, and uh, this technology is, of course, with Russia. So from that perspective, this launch is uh, very significant technologically. More significant, if you ask me, is the message that we're trying to send. Okay, message we're trying to send is that we're prepared for everything. Okay, we have, in case we put our mind to it, and we are forced into using our uh, strategic deterrence, it can't be stopped. Okay, that is a message that is very clear. And uh, I, as an Indian, feel very proud that uh, we have uh, we have come to a stage where now not we are not beating out the bush, and our message is very clear: leave us alone, don't trouble us. Okay, if you trouble us, the trouble will find you, and you'll not be able to handle it. That is the message. It is a great day for our nation, Bharat, when the TRDO has launched the maiden flight of the Vyasta, the variant of Agni-5 that can carry more than one warhead, more than one payload in one single missile that can be uh, directed to attack a single target or multiple targets at different locations. This is a great achievement. This provides the nation a capability which very few nations in the world presently have. The Vyasta has all the, all the qualities, all the accuracy and reach which Agni-5 has had. But the same missile will now be able to carry more than one warhead which can be directed to targets at different locations or one single location. And this adds this increases the strength of the missile or the strength of the reach of the missile, the capabilities of the missile many, many folds more. Today, uh, we, TR and DRDO, we have always given a lot of importance to giving importance to uh, equal opportunities to women and I am told that this project also has had great participation of scientists, leaders and uh, technicians and other supporting staff. Many of them are women and my congratulations to all the entire team of TRDO and the Vyasta team for having given the nation this gift at a very opportune moment when the world is facing a lot of turmoil. We are a peace-loving nation. We don't want to attack anybody with nuclear weapons, but our doctrine is very clear that if we are attacked with any kind of weapons of mass destruction, our response will be very, very strong and deterministic. That requires reach, that requires accuracy, that requires capability to reach the targets with pinpoint accuracy and reliability. In this direction, the Vyasta enhances our country's capabilities many, many folds. This kind of technologies, although the scientists have always had the capability, the scientific knowledge, but the projects of such nature cannot be undertaken and achieved without very active support from the government, from the political leaders. So therefore, I would like to thank our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji for giving our scientists, our DRDO scientists, opportunity to work in this area and 
take the country's power, the country's strength to new heights. My congratulations to the RDO team and our nation as such.